Hi everyone, it's Robin. I just wanted to do a quick video on um, how to tie a self-tie bow tie. Um, it's really a lot easier than it looks. It just takes a lot of practice. Most bow ties come with an adjustable strap in the back so that you can fit the bow tie to um, the length of or the circumference of your neck. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm right handed so I'm going to make the right side of the bow tie, my right side, a little bit longer than the left. Um, what I'm going to do with that right side, that longer side, I'm going to wrap it around, I'm going to crisscross it. Alright, so this is all I'm doing, crisscrossing it around the left side. Alright, that's step number one. Step number two is, this collar isn't the best for bow ties, but it's what I'm working with right now. Step number two, you're going to take that longer side and you're going to put it underneath, sort of like you're tying a regular tie, and you're going to tighten it. Tighten it, put it over your shoulder, leave that alone for now. All right, make sure that knot is in the middle. That's step number two. Step number three is you'll have this piece here is your other half of your bow tie. And what, you, what you're gonna notice is that you have a wider side and you have um, a side that's a little thinner. So what you're gonna do is put your finger in the middle of the wider side just um, to give you um, just a little, let's say, uh, marker of where to fold it. And so you fold it right down the middle of the wider side. So now you have what looks like half of a bow tie. What you're gonna do with this piece is you're gonna bring this longer piece down and over your half of a bow tie. All right, so it'll look sort of like an elephant's trunk. And the next step would be to take these two, the two bow tie pieces in the back, and you're going to sandwich the elephant trunk. And what you're doing now is creating a gap right here. All right, you're creating this gap, and what you're going to do is pull this piece through the gap, All right? Pulling this piece through the gap, you're gonna push it through. Oh, I gotta find it first. I'm gonna push it through, not all the way through, but just enough so that you can grab it on the other side and kinda pull it tight. And you're just gonna use your bow tie pieces that you've created to tighten your bow tie to your liking. And so all you're really doing is pulling on um, the edges to tighten it, sort of like a shoelace. And again, it comes with a lot of practice. Um, I'm pretty sure there are people out there who can do this in way less time than I'm doing it. But again, practice makes perfect. And so you have something sort of like this. No bow tie is perfect. Some people like them tight, some like them small. Um, all depends on the shape of the bow tie and what you like. Because it's a little small, but you get the drift. And so now I have a completed bow tie. So let's get a close up on that. So this is the finished product and then you can basically play with the um, the flaps and tighten them, pull them out a little bit more, um, basically do what you want um, to adjust it. But that's it.